how do you instill empowered desire in any human? Very good question. And with that, again, is the constant support to try to understand where the student is coming from. How can I connect to something in your life? In our school, because we're seat time waiver, part of that desire in one of the 40 assets is they belong to their school. They feel, I belong to my school. I like my school. I like going to my school. So we have started on Friday, we have clubs, student-led, student-empowered. So with that, I have more kids coming on a Friday than I ever did because half of the day is that mentorship, relationship, empowerment of student-led clubs. So part of the, kind of the, the school, the school wants me to do this. They're giving me time to do this. It's something I like. The other concept is all of my students, no matter what game they go to, my school pays for their ticket in. That psychologically is my school takes care of me. So it costs five bucks to get in, depending on your socioeconomics. My kids aren't going to go. They're going to be out in the cold. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. So wow, I belong to the academy. My name's on this sheet. All I have to do is show my ID. I'm somebody. I got a ticket in. Again, that's to support my kids psychologically is that desire, which is one of the 40 assets, the school takes care of me. My school isn't just about the school time, it's outside of that, which then goes back to the concept when it's difficult at this computer about the desire, let's look into this. What are your goals? How do we get them to go through a self-analysis of what their goal is? Getting this done is going to help your goal. It's always about that connection. It's the connection, the relationship, to go back to empowering desire, and then depending on what's going on in the student's life. You know, because all of us humans are like this. So how do you keep something constant? It's that support.